Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Siri. Today I am going to discuss about a very important topic and today actually I am going to discuss about a problem that is faced by people who are learning English or people who are willing to learn, learn English from a very long time. Right? Uh, now, what is the problem? The problem is um, fear of speaking in English. I know this is a very common problem between people among people who are willing to learn English. So I've got a set of solutions to share with you guys today so that you can overcome this fear of speaking in English. Okay. So I am going to be telling you the solutions from my own experience and these are the practical things that worked out for me in my past and I really follow these steps to gain that fluency over English. Okay, so without any delay, let's get into the video. So what is the first thing that you need to keep in mind? If you are facing that fear of speaking in English, it should not bother you. It is absolutely common to feel that way as a beginner. It's, it's absolutely normal if you are a beginner, if you are starting with something, it's very normal. If you are learning something which is not your mother tongue, you cannot be perfect in the first go, right? It should not bother you. Even though if it is, if it is bothering you, you have to go forward. You cannot take a step back. You have to go forward if it is bothering you, no matter what's happening with you. You have to go forward. Now, the question comes over here is that, how to overcome this fear? How can you overcome this fear? Okay, uh, let me give you some solutions to this. What I used to do when I wanted to gain flu fluency over English is that, uh, whenever I'm alone at home or whenever I find time, what I used to do is I always had a phone in my hand. So I used to switch on the phone uh, on the video mode. So I used to record myself speaking about something. I used to speak on random topics, some stupid talk to topics I can't even tell. So what I used to do that I used to pick any topic or I used to just practice my introduction. If I have to introduce myself to anyone, how would I do that? So I used to practice all of that and uh, in the initial days uh, it, it was a bit weird to do that because speaking to yourself uh, is kind of weird in the initial days but later on I find it so interesting whenever I find time I used to do that. I can't tell you the number of videos I have on my phone of me talking to myself on some random topics. So do not feel shy. Because no one is going to judge you, you are go you are not going to show that video to any of your any of your friends or any of your relatives. So don't worry about it. What you have to do is open uh, open your phone and shoot a video of yourself, and then observe yourself in that video. How did you do? How did you perform? What kind of mistakes you you've made in that video? So after observing all that next time you make sure that you don't repeat those mistakes so if i have to tell you first time when you record a video the second time you are going to do a lot better compared to the first time right so eventually that mistakes are going to come down and the fear of speaking in english is also going to come down gradually okay the first thing is that you have to get started uh, if you are not a person who who is who doesn't have a phone uh, you have a mirror in your home, right? So, mirror at your home. So, what can you do? Go in front of the mirror and speak to yourself. Okay, like, speak whatever you would like to speak about anything that you are interested in. Speak about uh, an essay. What I used to do was, I used to just go in, in front of the mirror every morning. What I used to do is, Siri, how are you? What are you doing? So, I used to ask questions to myself and I used to answer those questions. No one is actually there around me. But that's how I used to practice English because I had that hunger to learn English because I knew the importance of learning English and it's very important. I know it's very important. All of you want to learn English. That is why you are watching me in this video today. 
so what can you actually do go in front of a mirror and talk to yourself it is really going to help you a lot and one more thing start thinking in thinking in english uh, you must be thinking it's very difficult but no it's not really difficult you can start thinking in english now if i have to tell you that uh, we are not going to stop thinking we will be thinking continuously 24 hours right so instead of saying something in your mother tongue say that in english suppose let me tell you um, if i have to ask my mother mummy in just now in my mother tongue i would say that mummy what you are doing you understand i am just using that sentences the same sentences in my mother tongue i use those sentences in english if i have to think about anything related to my college rep nenu college ki ela vellali how should i go to college tomorrow rep nenu a dresses kali which dress should i wear tomorrow to college so you understand this right so instead of speaking to myself in my mother tongue i choose english i think in english initially it takes time for you to get adjusted to that environment but later on that becomes a habit to yourself that becomes a habit and you are going to love that process uh, you are going to love it i promise like you will love it and when you think even you actually start thinking in thinking in english uh, number of sentences are going to pop up in your mind number of vocab number of words new words are going to pop up in your mind right and uh, one thing you have to keep in your mind is that it takes time to learn english okay if you feel that way it's fine no problem i am here to help you okay so let me know all of your problems in the comments below so that i can come up with solutions to those problems okay your understanding are you uh, like are you getting my point okay so it's okay to feel that way guys do not get demotivated i am there to motivate you i am there to push you to learn english as much as possible for me so i am here do not worry about it and please let me know all your doubts and queries in the comments below i would love to come up with videos which can help you with your problems i'll be more than happy if my videos are helpful to you and uh, feel free to mail me about your problems that you are facing when you are speaking in english and uh, that is it for the video i will see you very soon till then you take care of yourself bye